bitch. <laughs> I think the welding is on his, uh... Wires to the thing. <laughs> this is the blooper reel. Oh, there's gonna be a big blooper reel. Okay, so the plan is that we're going to take the, uh, the old pieces off of this bike and um, we're going to put them in a box and we're going to put new pieces on, fiberglass pieces from AirTech. And um, so the, the plan today is just to get the old pieces off and the new pieces on and mounted and kind of ready to go and see where it's all fitting and get it all situated. So that's our plan for the day. Well, in about five minutes. We took all the plastic pieces off, so it looks pretty good. Now we're going to go and pressure wash it and get it all cleaned up. And then uh, bring it back and start sizing in the white plastic pieces, the new ones. So we got the bike all pressure washed. Now we have to cut off unnecessary pieces, like the bag, the zip tie or uh, bungee cord uh, braces are going to go. All of our electronics that are on this side that are hanging off, are going to get relocated to the center of the seat. We're going to try to clean up the tail as much as we can so that we have a nice clean look like the new the newer bikes do all the way up into into 2006. If you look at them there they have nothing underneath it's just tire and tail. So that's our goal with that. Okay so what we're going to do first to get this tail to fit is we're going we have our seat and we're going to make sure that we cut out a little holes for these rubber grommets right down here so that they don't sit on the plastic and crack it they're gonna sit on the actual frame so the first order of business is we're gonna get this seat to fit in and fit there just perfectly and once that fit when that once that fits and we have those holes drilled out then we're gonna to try to uh, attach it to the bike That's how we do that. So what I did is I put a little paint on here and then when I push it down, the paint transfers to the place where it's gonna where I'm gonna drill the hole. So uh, we're just going to have to, you know, elongate these holes a little bit. You can see here where it's not quite fitting. We're just grinding it right in here so that it all kind of fits in. So it all fits up in here. I'm going to grind this back a little bit so that it kind of sits in there a little bit better.
we got the seat in, and that works fine, but uh, we've got a huge two-inch gap between the tailpiece and the, the light. Now, if we push it down like this, it does seem to kind of match up, but it brings the front end up. So we're thinking either we're going to have to modify the tail light so it, it comes up a little bit, so it fits nicer, or we're going to have to make tabs to bring this down. So we're kind of we're we're working at figuring out which is the best route, the best solve. This is probably the easiest solve, is to drop it down like this. But well, does it? But it, and it, it adjusts. You know, it brings that up. Maybe if this was in like it was supposed to be, something's not quite fitting right. But you know, we kind of expected that. I mean, it's a, it's aftermarket. And they make it on one bike and every bike's a little different. The fender, which if you're taking apart your fender, you're going to have to do a little bit of drilling to get all the hardware that lives underneath it. Now, what Yamaha did, they countersunk brass washers in there. They go through bolts go through the top aluminum bracket, through the brass washers, and into these receptors that I drilled out. What AirTech gave us is, of course, something that isn't countersunk and probably won't be. Not really flush here, and not quite perfect in the way that it fits on here. As you can see that kind of flops around. So what I'm gonna have to do is drill some holes and start seeing how everything goes together without these brass grommets. Uh, hopefully the thing won't wobble around in there or flop around. The other thing about hanging a fender is if you don't get it dead on the tire can be too close to here and either rub or create heat that could possibly warp the fiberglass. So we'll see. Like, how they did it dead nuts to what the back one is, or what to what the, the factory one is. It just doesn't feel right. I almost want to strap this on here and just see If it's center. Okay, it's after much grinding, and let me tell you, that thing is nowhere near flat. You're going to have to really go through and plane that to where that bracket underneath will go. Uh, this is on, and it's actually got, we were worried that it wasn't going to have enough clearance, but we're really nice. There's a, there's a good, my hand slips easily underneath, same on the back. There's a little bit here, but I don't think it's enough to really worry about. And then Jeff and I were worried that this plane wouldn't be straight. But when I tighten that thing up, it's a nice straight line. So now I just got to take it all apart, put the pop rivet in that holds that bracket in, and the fender is done. Not bad. So, um... The tabs that are come on the stock thing are supposed to fit right in here, and we we hacked them off uh, because they weren't they didn't quite reach reach these little uh, divot holes that they they put in there. So um, what we did was we, we hacked them off and maybe prematurely, but instead but uh, we are now going to weld them back on. But we're going to put an extension. So I welded an extension onto the bracket uh, holes that they already had, and now I'm going to put it in there and kind of match up where it needs to go and then we'll take this tail off and um, weld it on right here and then we'll have uh, bracket mounts that match the holes. Pretty slick huh?
Alright. That's pretty much it. Let's see. Put it down. So what we had to do was because um, these holes were off and this thing wasn't low, you know, was lower that we had to raise this whole thing. So we had to cut these tabs off and then make a little bracket so they go a little further out and then come down. So it was just a simple little thing. I mean, I'm sure we could have also made this hole a little bit more in, in here. There's a couple different ways we could have done it. We just chose to do it this way because we had already cut these off um, earlier because we didn't think we're, they were going to fit. So we welded them back on and now we gave ourselves a tab so they should be able to, and we can adjust them, you know, by pushing them in or out to kind of get the centering of our tail light. So it'd be pretty slick. So I've seen a lot of FCRs that have done the R1 body and they don't have the slick to the rear fender that Airtech made for us. I think one of the reasons is that it really doesn't match up to the bolt holes that we have. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is replane this right here. You can see it kinda is a nice little dip. Uh, we're definitely gonna cut off about an inch and a half off of this thing. And then we're gonna have to drill a mount hole on this side into the swing arm. Well, we just put the nose on and the underbelly, and we found out that a lot of these holes just aren't quite matching up. The uh, front end kind of is shifted forward, and if you'll see over here on this other side, right down here, um, we've got it taped on, but we've got our holes here where this is supposed to go, and we're not matching up down here. I mean, this is off maybe a good two and a half inches, three inches. So we're gonna have to figure out. We may have to re, we may have to move this whole mount up and back in order to make this work. And if you'll see right over here, um, it's not mount. Once we get that uh, hole down there mounted, we can't. This thing sticks up over the edge. So it's gonna take some work to kind of push and shove to get this thing to work right. And it's not quite exactly the way we thought it should go on so but we'll get it there well this is what we got done we expected to get the whole thing the whole thing mounted up all the body work all the blinkers on and everything like that but uh, that didn't happen <laughs> I mean we were close I think if we had another three hours we would have had it but um, and we had to tell it early last night so what we did do is we got the tail piece done and ready to go. Um, we had to um, do a bit of trimming to get the seat in right. We had to um, kind of remount the bra brackets for the, um, the tail light, which we didn't expect to have to do, but it wasn't that hard. It just was something we had to do. Um, we got the, um, the fender, uh, the, the rear, rear fender rear. mounted, and um, that wasn't too difficult. We got the front fender done, which I would say was moderately di difficult and needed a little bit of fabrication, but once all the screws were aligned, it really did fall into place almost perfectly. These lines are the same on each side, which is very nice. Uh, um, and then we also sized up and got figured out what we need to do for the, the, the nose piece and the underbelly. Um, essentially, we just have to move a couple of brackets down here up. Um, it just doesn't fit quite right on this bike, who knows why, but um, it'll just be a little bit of a move and probably a couple hours of work and, it'll, and the, the um, front piece will be on.